All right, now we're going to do something that I, I think is kind of fun, and that is using the basic hype elements to create our main character, uh, the one-eyed germ, we call him the Cyclops germ. And it's, it's really pretty simple. And again, when building a game, everyone has their own process, has their own method to get there. This one's mine. I tend to like to set up my screens like we did in the last video. And then I like to start building the characters and the layouts, um, the layout artwork. And then I do my actions, or actually I'll do my physics and then my actions. So again, you can change up how you do this. It's, it's not set in stone. So feel, do whatever is comfortable to you. But first, let's go ahead and talk about how we're going to create our main character. And I have a little uh, layout here that will show you how it's going to go. We're going to basically take a circle element, or an ellipse element, as Hype calls it. And we're going to use that ellipse in several different ways. And we're going to make a body, an eyeball, an iris, a pupil, and a little highlight um, that goes on the eye to make the eye look like it's, even though it's 2D, it makes it look a little more uh, 3D. And then we're going to add some spots to him and uh, dress them up, or you could add squares, whatever you'd like. Uh, when you're done, your finished character should look like this, um, orange, and then you can recolor them, and I'll show you how easy it is to make copies of that. So let's go ahead and start drawing. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to blow up a little bit here, and I'm going to go ahead and create my ellipse. Okay, and we'll blow up a little more. Now, when the ellipse comes in, it comes in kind of a grayish white with a stroke on it. Again, your inspector panel is where you do most of your heavy lifting and hype. And we're going to work on another section of the inspector panel, and that is the element inspector. And what that does is that controls the look, the feel um, of whatever element you create. So, for instance, this one right now has a background color of white. You could fill it with a gradient, and you can see how that works. You could fill it with an image if you had an image. Um, you can fill it uh, with none so that it's invisible. You also see that it has different types of strokes on it. So you can get, uh, you know, let me increase those just to show you how that works. Dotted, double lines, dashed, groove, which is kind of cool, ridge, inset, outset. And what we're going to do is we're going to for right now, we're going to keep it on none. We'll come back and fill it with something. But on our background color, what we're going to do is we're going to do the orange, uh, the orange one, or something similar to orange. So I'll go up, I get my color wheel. Again, I pick, and if I move around the color wheel, you see that you can pick any color that you want. You can also adjust the tone and go very dark or, or very bright. We're going to go with a bright color here. So there's our first, um, the body the body of our character. Next we're going to do another ellipse and this one's going to be the eyeball. And if you just hold the um, corner you can see how you can rescale things. Now I want to show you something in the uh, inspector that helps control this too because you know you could want an eyeball that looks like that but you may want it to be round like we we're doing in the example. If you do that what you want to do is do constrain proportions and then when you go up and down on scaling with the handles you can see that it always keeps it the same shape so what we'll do is we're going to put that eyeball back in again a clean one we're going to make sure constrained proportions is on and that's in our metrics uh, element then we're going to come back here to our uh, element inspector and I go in here like so We'll make a big eyeball right there. So this is something else that's fun. You can keep that shape and then to make it look like it's got a little bit of 3D effect to it, we're going to go ahead and give it a shadow. Right here it shows you the element itself and then it shows you via pixels how much shadow you have. So one pixel offsets and you can see how it's offsetting to the lower right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to blur that so it gives it a little bit of shadow. You can even color it. So typically, you know, if I'm going to do something on an orange background, um, I'm going to try to keep it 
even the shadow and the orange palette. So you can see what happens there. All right, so then we put the eye up there. Next, we're going to go ahead and create that pupil, or the iris, I'm sorry. Um, so we'll go ahead and put the iris in. And again, we're constrained proportions. No, we're not. So you go back to your metrics, constrain the proportions, and bring it in. And we'll make it like right about there and place it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come in here to uh, the color. Now with the uh, iris, sometimes it's nice to do a gradient. So what we'll do here is we'll pick this. We're going to give him a nice greenish uh, eye. So there he's got a top gradient. And then down here, right now it's set at black. But we can go here and set a dark green gradient. Now another thing too on the iris, I, I like to add a little bit of a stroke to it and usually give a darker stroke something that's right about there gives it some shape to it and then we're going to go ahead and next create the pupil again go back to your metrics set your constrained proportions now there is a way to do this by holding your shift key down and you don't have to constrain proportions but I want to show you how height gives you a lot of tools to do your job here Okay, so we're going to make his pupil about that big. And a pupil typically is going to be dark. Um, so let's go ahead and give it a, a, a nice dark green color, almost black. Yeah, about like that. And we're going to take the stroke off of this one. So, we'll, oops, and you can see it moves it in. That's something to notice, too. Whenever you um, have a stroke on, um, it does add more to that shape, so it does push it off a little bit. So always consider that. Take your stroke off and then reposition you know, where you want it. And the other nice thing too, I don't know if you're seeing this, but you see the guides. When you see the guides, it goes ahead and it'll show you how it's centering within a shape. That is really handy, and I like it quite a bit. So there is our eyeball, and our now what we want to do is uh, and the body of our, our germ. What we want to do though now is add a little highlight and when you add those highlights they are kind of nice and this one doesn't have to be a hundred percent round it can be a little off if you want and it's real tiny but it just gives it that that shine that you usually see on an eye and we're going to give it none again on the uh, stroke on the color let's go and give it a pure white or as pure white as we can get and then what we're going to do with it selected is you're going to take the opacity, the visibility, and you're going to bring it down to just enough so you can start to see through it. You'll get this little marker here saying that Internet Explorer 8 does not do opacity. Well, we for this project, we don't care because we're not going to run this on Internet Explorer 8. But if you were, you would want to go ahead and skip the opacity. But there we go. We now have something that looks like an eyeball character. We're going to finish him up with some... Uh, additional little shapes so we're going to take these now and I'm going to color this a little darker maybe red or you know let's let's do some purple let's get really contrasty here take this I'm going to turn off my stroke again and I'm going to come back remember metrics constrain proportions and I'm going to bring this here and I'm going to drop that there and then by selecting it, and if you hold down your Option key on your keyboard, you can drag and drag a copy. And then I'm going to make some different size shapes. And then this. And then this. And then here we're going to do something here. I want to show you how one of the, the arrangement tool works. So right here we're going to put a spot. But that doesn't look right, does it? So it's a little bit too big for our, our germ character. And it's in front of his eyeball, which probably wouldn't happen. But what we can do now is we can send it all the way to back, bring it all the way to front. But if you also use your arrange menu and you come up here and you see send backward, it sends it through the layers rather than all the way to the very back. So if we hit send backward, um, send backward, and you can see what the keyboard shortcut is, is option shift command B. And I'm going to do that. Option Shift Command B. You can see it. And also take a look down here in the main timeline. These are your layers. It shows you how it's starting to move backward in the layer. Um, so watch that. 
So we'll take this. B. You can see it moving down. Whoops. Too far. Option Shift Command F brings it up. And there it is right behind our eyeball where we want it. All right. In the next video, we'll start to build some more artwork.